Good morning, everyone. I have arrived outside of Highbury and Ellington Station. It is now 10 minutes past 10, and I'm going to walk to Highbury Fields. Oh, so this is Highbury Fields. I'm going to walk around the whole park. So there is actually a swimming pool here, and I think this is the end of the Highbury Fields. Since this is such a small field, I think I'm going to walk to my next destination. And as I walk to my next destination, I just saw that there's a St. Mary Magdalene garden there. So that garden is a lot bigger, so I think I want to find there because it's only a few minutes away. So the view will be the same. Oh, um, there's a children's playground here. And there's a bigger field here, but I'm still gonna fly it in the garden. Oh, so this is the St. Mary's Church and Gardens. I think I'm gonna fly it in the garden there. So I just tried to ring the doorbell and ask if we could visit this church. And he said that it is not open for public to visit. So I just flew my drone here to learn about the history of this church. St. Mary's Church Gardens is the former parish churchyard where many historical dignitaries were buried. There has been a church here from at least the early C14th. Although the medieval church was replaced by a new building in 1751-54. The body of the church was rebuilt in 1954-56, following the World War II bomb damage. Although the C-18 tower and steeple remain, St. Mary's Churchyard was enlarged in 1793, and after a close for burial, it was laid out as a public garden in 1885. The early C-19th layout of main diagonal paths and forecourt remains intact. Headstones are stacked around its perimeter walls and there are fine, mature plain and lime trees. The gardens were enhanced on the north side in the 1960s with the construction of the sunken rock garden, an ornamental sundial with floral beds and a drinking fountain was added in 2001. So the opening time is 8 a.m. until the sunset time. Wow, look at these two cool cows and horses that are made out of bricks. I'm gonna take a photo here. I'm on Charles Road. I also noticed a colorful wall here. So I want to take a photo here and use this for my commercial summary. And the Freightliners farm is actually right opposite to the rainbow wall. So that was good because if I didn't take a photo here, I wouldn't have noticed the sign for the Freightliner farm. I was just reading the sign. Apparently, some of the animals can carry harmful microorganisms such as E. coli and salmonella. I wasn't planning to touch the animals anyways, but it says these microorganisms can also be on the fence, so I am not gonna touch anything. And they advise you to clean your clothing after visiting the farm. I am actually planning to do my laundry tomorrow anyways, so that was nice that I came on a Saturday. This is the lavender arachunahan and then the other one is the red or black arachuna kokoro and I am being very safe and I'm standing 1.5 meters away from the animal. I think this is the origin. Oh my god, so you know how in like TV when it has like a scene of when the sun rises and then there will be a sound of but I just heard this animal over here make that sound, but it's not willing to make it now. It's so annoying. And there are seven sheep here. Oh, actually, eight sheep. Oh my gosh, that sheep is eating the grass. Can you guys see? So cute. 
So there is a golden sword to go in, and there is also a buckle goat somewhere over there. You can only see his butt for now. Sorry about that. So there is a mini botanical garden here, and there is a section here with plants and stuff. But on the sign, it says that soils can also carry those microorganisms. So I'm not gonna go in there for safety reasons. And I think that is the paradise park. But I don't think I'll fly my drone there because I don't want to put any of my objects down on this floor just for safety reasons. Oh, I think this is the end of the park. The farm is really small. Oh, so this is the Arundel Square. But apparently it has been reopened in 2010. So I want to fly my drone here and find out the history of this Arundel Square. So I tried to fly my drone and apparently this is big signal area. All these beautiful common units here and I want to take a photo of them. So I saw these buckies and horse chestnut flowers here and I want to take a photo of them. I walked past this play called Green, but it's just a few minutes away from Arundel Square, so I don't think they'll let me fly it here. So I'm just gonna keep walking. Oh, so this is the Arlington Town Hall. Is it like a posh place? Why is everyone dressed up so posh? So this is Arlington Square, and I actually saw it opposite the road. Oh, so this is Arlington Green, but it's like very small, and it's literally like this, and it's by the road as well, so I don't think I'll be able to fly my drone here. And I was just reading these two signs, and I learned that it was just reopened in 2006. Oh, so I think this street is the Camden Passage. There's actually a Graham Street Park here, but there are loads of dogs here, so I don't want to like fly my drone and scare them. I'm near the book art bookshop now, and there are some graffiti here. Oh, dun dun dun! I have arrived at the book art bookshop, and there's also a Best American Pizza. This is the Great Houston Street. I think I put this here because there are like some restaurants around here. I think I saw one called Gloria that is top rated. They were fully cooked, but actually, when I was looking for a restaurant, I saw this pure evil gallery. So I'm gonna go in. The gallery is literally this small. You can finish it in five minutes. So there's actually a lower floor as well. So I saw this beautiful graffiti across the street and I had to come over to take a photo. There's another one here with a girl holding a crystal ball and then there's an eagle over there and I don't know what that represents. So I just took a photo with this. So I ordered this sweet and sour Cantonese style steamed rice and there was also early Instagrammable place here. So this is Museum of the Home. I'm now inside the museum and it is actually free. Oh, so there is a garden here, but actually before I went into the museum, they also had a garden outside and I tried to fly my drone there and there is weak signal here. So I don't think there's gonna be signal here either, but I'm gonna take a photo here. Look at these garden tulips. There's a pink one over here as well. Oh yeah, I actually read online that this museum's old name was Jeffrey Almshouse's Museum. But I don't know why they changed it to the Museum of Home. 
And there are also a lot of variety flowers here. Oh, there are some really beautiful mustard family. And these are called the annual honesty flowers. Oh, so this museum talks about what home is like for other people. Oh my gosh, is this the oldest Macintosh? So I'm being kicked out of the museum now. It is 5 o'clock. And also, this museum is actually free. Oh, this is the 100 years gallery. There's nothing in this gallery. I think this is the St. Mary's Secret Garden, but it does say it's closed on Google. So these are the opening times. Oh, so this is the Hagerson Park. I want to walk around the hole and then decide where to fly my drone. So this is the Japanese maple tree. I kind of wanted to upload it here. So there are loads of Pendu Kule trees here. I want to take a photo of them because I've never seen them before. There are also some Chinese wisteria flowers here. I think I'm going to take a photo over here. I have decided this is probably the prettiest part of the park, so I want to fly my drone here. Well, I just tried to fly my drone here, but not sure why when it got to like 15 meters, it says like weak signal, so I can't fly it here. So there's actually a woodland walk here as well. This is the Hackney City Farm. There are loads of squirrels here, and to be honest, even though it's closed, you can kind of already see it, so, yeah. Oh, there's a shortage town hall here. I didn't know that. Oh, wow, I just noticed these graffitis here. And this is, like, just a girl. And this one got ruined by someone. So this is the Mark Street Garden. This is definitely a hidden gem in shortage. There is literally no one here, so I can happily fly my drone. It was weak signal area again. So the Kate McGarry Gallery was supposed to be on this street, and I couldn't find it on Boundary Street. And but I saw that there are these two signs here, Paul Adams and Mike Smith. I don't know who they are, but apparently they used to work. Here. So, I am now inside a restaurant called 100 Hotel, and I actually saw this restaurant on a website, and so I ordered a starter, I ordered this crab, I did not expect it to be this small, because I asked them if this can be eaten at a main, and she said yes, but it's so small. I still have two other restaurants on my list. So maybe after I finish this one, I can go to my two other restaurants. So I just saw this beautiful graffiti over here. It is next to a building called Citizen M Hotel. So I think that is the High Jingo Bingo place. But I feel like you have to be over 18 to go to this place. This is the Queen of Hoxton, their security. So I'm not going to play bingo on my own anyways. I just wanted to show you guys this. And that place seems like it's actually a clubbing place. <laughs> and I don't club either. So I'm actually going to go back to a restaurant that's just three minutes away. It's called Show You. So this is gonna be my main and I'm gonna let you know what I ordered. So I ordered this mint beef ramen. They said it's the most popular so I wanna try it. So I finished the ramen and I'm just waiting for the toilet. To be honest, it's not as incredible as the website said. One of the reasons why I wanted to come here is because the website said it was 
so incredible. But I think it's because she hasn't been to Japan. So I'm gonna end this vlog here because the sunset time is 8.20 and it's now quarter to nine. So the sun is starting to set. So if you enjoyed this vlog, don't forget to subscribe, like, share it with your friends, and comment down below to let me know if you actually ended up going to any of these places because of my vlog. And I'll see you all with another traveling vlog or music related videos. Bye!